Hi, Rodney here with TickTestDrives.com. Uh, welcome to another one of our review videos. Today I've got the Panasonic Toughbook CF30 Mark II. Um, this is a full rugged laptop. Um, I've always wanted to own one, but due to the pricing, um, they've always been a bit out of reach. Um, this is a used laptop. However, when they were brand new, they were around 7,000 US dollars. Now, it weighs in at around 8 pounds or 3.5 kgs, um, which is pretty heavy for a laptop, especially these days. Now, this one comes with the optional touch screen. So, in the top here, um, it has the built in handle, which is retractable, um, but it also features the stylus built into the handle, which can be used with the touch screen, which is nice and handy. So, it's just a basic plastic stylus there. Okay, so on the front, there's not too much to see. Uh, that's the latch there, you push in to open the laptop. And then there's the handle that's built in. And then you can see here, uh, you slide across to power it on. And there's the wireless um, on off switch there. Let me move around to the side. Now this is where the hard drive bay is. Now it is a removable hard drive. Um, there's some latches on here. This is in the locked position. To unlock this, you would slide that back. Um, I'll just open the lid slightly. And then pull that lever up. And then fold the door down. And that's how you'd remove the hard drive. We'll take that out and have a look. So the hard drive is encased in this caddy. Um, and if you can see in there, there's actually some foam pads. So the hard drive is completely encased in foam pads and then it's put in this metal case and simply inserts into the laptop. Now also in the caddy, um, there are some heated elements. So when this laptop detects that it's under a certain temperature, such as freezing conditions, when you push the power button, it will actually turn the elements on and heat up the hard drive first. And then to lock, just close that, clip that down, and set it to the lock position. And then it's securely in place. Moving across, um, we have the SD card slot. So SD card slot, then we've got Firewire, a 56k modem, and the LAN and Ethernet port in there. And you can see here um, that all around the edges of the door uh, we have a rubber gasket which um, makes sure it is sealed from water. And that simply clicks back into place. Uh, then we've got a USB port. Again, it has these dust and water resistant doors on them. So there's one USB 2.0 port there. And then we have the power port there. And then on the back, you have a Kensington lock. Um, and then if we open this large door, we have the majority of the ports there. So two additional USB. Uh, we have the dock if you purchase the optional docking cradle. Um, you have VGA monitor out um, and then headphone and microphone. And again like all the doors on here it has the rubber gasket right around it. Now it also has a quick access door if you are docking it into the docking station. Simply slide that across and then you have access to it. Then when we move across, uh, this has a serial port. There it is. That simply clicks closed. Then moving it around to the right side here. Uh, this is, 
This unit here has a built-in CD writer and DVD reader and that's behind here. So you can see it's installed along the bottom there um, and it also has a PCMCIA card and an express card slot as well. And then we have the battery door. This has a, a very similar locking mechanism to the hard drive to ensure that it doesn't fall out. Um, so we'll unlock that, slide it across and then down. And that unlocks the door. And there's the battery. So quite a large battery. And locks that into place. Okay, on the bottom we have the door for the memory. Now um, this one here has four gigs of memory. Um, I believe from factory they come out with either one or two, so this has been upgraded. Um, I have had a look under here, and again there's the rubber gasket around this door to ensure dust and water doesn't get into the memory bay. And we've got the model number and the serial number along with its Windows Certificate of Authenticity. You can see here that the drive bay doors are all screwed in here and they're all exposed. Uh, this is quite handy um, just in case any get uh, lost or go missing uh, you can easily replace the doors including these uh, rubber ones here. So I'll go ahead and open it up you simply push in the latch here and pull it open and now it's a very very solid sturdy hinge as you'd expect and you can see there the thickness of the lid there. So I'll go ahead and turn it on you just flick the power switch in the bottom right hand corner. Now this one is running uh, Windows Vista. So it's pretty quick at powering on. Uh, this one has a 500 gigabyte hard drive running at 5400 RPM. And it has a black and silver finish on the inside. The screen is a 13.3 inch uh, XGA screen with a resolution of 1024 by 768. Have the power and battery indicator there along with the status lights. Uh, the keyboard is a chiclet style and it is also illuminated so you can use it at night time. This one's equipped with a touch screen. Simply use the stylus or you can actually use your finger. It's solid to close. You can just pull out the uh, retractable handle. Uh, no carry cases needed, you just carry it as is. And the handle clips back into place. Now I'll just go into the system properties and show that it is running Windows Vista. And it is the Intel Core 2 Duo running at 1.6 GHz. Like I explained before, the CD driver is on the left hand side. Simply open the door, push the button and it pops out and it's a manual draw. Now this system has one speaker just located under the handle on the front and it is very loud and is quite decent. So with its full magnesium alloy case and its resistance to water, dust, vibration, drops, the heat and the cold, you can see why the military use them along with first response people such as fire, police and ambulance. So I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the Panasonic Toughbook CF30. I'm Rodney from techtestdrives.com.